WWE star cried after his match with Rey Mysterio, four-time champion challenges Bray Wyatt to a fight, and Johnny Gargano seemingly teases his WWE departure. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Kita Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. WWE star says he cried after his match with Rey Mysterio. Ricochet has disclosed that he cried after wrestling WWE legend Rey Mysterio at Lucha Underground back in 2016. Ricochet worked with Mysterio, his idol, on a number of occasions before joining WWE. Ricochet is in appearance on the With Authority podcast, said he was overwhelmed after wrestling Mysterio. After the match, the former world champion told Ricochet to stay in the ring and soak in the adulation from the fans. Ricochet then went backstage and thanked Mysterio for inspiring him, following which he cried, saying, quote, I go to the back finally. I try to find his little locker room. I go in there and I'm trying to just say thank you so much for this match. It means a lot to me. You've obviously been a huge inspiration. You've been someone I looked up to for so long. So just thank you. I was trying to talk to him and tell him all this stuff. He was sitting there, everyone's around, and I'm just crying. I can't even speak." End quote. Ricochet and Rey Mysterio have had a number of matches even before their matches in WWE. Ricochet, who wrestled under the ring name Prince Puma before joining WWE, wrestled and against Mysterio and Lucha Underground, WrestleCon, and Triple Mania, to name a few. In WWE, the duo have been in multi-man tag matches, but have never faced each other in a singles match. After a long run in the indie circuit, Ricochet moved to Vince McMahon's promotion in 2018, debuting in NXT before his move to the main roster. He has won the NXT North American Championship and United States Championship in his current stint. Four-time champion challenges Bray Wyatt to a fight. Braun Strowman wants to fight fellow ex-WWE star Bray Wyatt next. WWE released a former Universal Champion back in June. Two months later, Wyatt was released as well. Both of these releases took the wrestling world by storm and fans were not happy in the least. In an interview with Control Your Narrative, Braun was asked about his next opponent. Strowman responded by heaping praise on Bray Wyatt and sending a message to the former WWE star, saying, quote, I don't know if it's really one person. I think it's anyone, anyone that has something inside of them that they need to get out, anybody that needs to be set free. These things have always been good at setting things free. There's only one man on this earth that I want to see knocking that door. He's family. He showed me things in life that I could never have imagined seeing. He bestowed the gift upon me of being the godfather to his son. Wyndham, I'm waiting for you, brother." End quote. Braun Strowman debuted on WWE's main roster six years ago as the Wyatt family's newest member. During the stable's long run, Strowman learned about the business from Bray Wyatt. After the faction disbanded, Braun did well for himself as a single star. Strowman competed against major WWE stars like Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and many more. Shortly after his Universal title win over Goldberg, Strowman had a full-fledged feud with Bray Wyatt. The latter eventually defeated Strowman for the Universal title at SummerSlam in 2020. It remains to be seen what Bray Wyatt has to say about Braun Strowman's challenge. Ex-WWE star tried to look like Charlotte Flair to become a champion. Lana has said she tried to bulk up and look like Charlotte Flair in 2017 and 2018 to stand a chance of winning a championship in WWE. Despite receiving a few title shots, Lana never managed to win a championship during her WWE tenure. While speaking at the East Coast Autograph Auctions, Lana explained that she tried to do a win a title in WWE. She bemoaned the fact that bulking up and trying to look like Charlotte didn't work for her, saying, quote, these were my bulking days, probably 2017, 2018. I felt like I could bulk up and look like Charlotte Flair, then maybe I could become champion. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. You know, not everyone can be genetically superior and also have a famous father that is a 16, 17 time champion. His daughter is going to surpass him pretty soon." End quote. In the same interaction, Lana disclosed that Vince McMahon and Michael Hayes forbade her from changing her hair color and spruce up her character. The company also wanted her to wrestle only in a leotard. 
Lana began her WWE career as a valet for real-life husband Rusev after signing with the company in 2013. She only began her in-ring career in 2016 at WrestleMania 32, where she was in a 10-woman tag team match. She improved her in-ring ability and became more than just a valet slash manager, and even got a shot at the SmackDown Women's title in 2017, battling then-champion Naomi. She had a few chances at the title, but was unsuccessful at winning it all. MLW CEO confirms talks with Braun Strowman and comments on potential partnership with WWE. MLW CEO Court Bauer confirmed that the company was in talks to sign Braun Strowman, but they could not strike a deal. He also commented on a potential partnership with WWE. On a media call yesterday with Court Bauer, the head of Major League Wrestling, he discussed various topics, including the possibility of signing free agents like Bray Wyatt and Strowman. The MLW CEO revealed that he held talks with high-profile and recently released WWE superstars like Braun Strowman and Bo Dallas in a possible partnership deal with WWE. Bauer did say that MLW spoke with former WWE star Bo Dallas in response to questions about whether the company held any discussions with his brother Bray Wyatt, saying, quote, So we had conversations with Bray's brother, and I think he seems more interested in farming. I understand having to recharge, you gotta recharge for another run, but right now it seems like he's more interested in doing some farming. I don't knock him for it, end quote. When it came to signing Adam Scherr, formerly known as Braun Strowman, Bauer said MLW did have conversations with the former WWE star, although they could not come to any deal. Bauer did not provide any additional details. In April, it was reported that WWE was looking into a possible partnership deal with Major League Wrestling. The deal would resemble other partnerships WWE has had with other promotions like Evolve and even ECW. According to Dave Meltzer, WWE did not like being perceived as unwilling to work in the modern wrestling world. WWE's willingness to work with other promotions could be seen as a possible response to rival AEW. The CEO of MLW confirmed a report, but the talks are trickier, said Bauer, and he's concerned that an alliance would interfere with MLW's creative freedom. Johnny Gargano seemingly teases his WWE departure. Will Johnny Gargano depart WWE when his contract expires in December? The latest hint from Gargano seems to imply that he is. With Johnny Wrestling's WWE contract set to expire in early December, the NXT Triple Crown winner has quietly removed all references to WWE, NXT, and the USA Network from his Twitter bio. It's something that the WWE Universe quickly caught on to. Gargano is now listing himself as a pro wrestler in his Twitter bio, which might be another clue as that a term that Vince McMahon doesn't want to see used in WWE. This could be Gargano's way of slightly confirming to his fans that he's going elsewhere in December. This would be similar to Adam Cole hinting to his fans that he was leaving WWE when he mentioned that he would never give up his Twitch channel, which is something he couldn't keep on the WWE main roster. If Johnny Gargano leaves WWE in December, there will be no shortage of companies looking to sign him. Johnny Wrestling has been one of the greatest figures during the black and golden era, carrying the NXT banner on his shoulders during its greatest years. While most fans will immediately point out that he might become Johnny Elite, AEW is not the only wrestling company that could benefit from having Gargano on its roster. Gargano could sign with Impact or New Japan Pro Wrestling, both of whom have been in the news looking to sign some of the hottest free agents in pro wrestling. Whether Gargano stays or goes, you can bet he's going to be one of the hottest wrestling stories of December. He has a strong following and resonates with pro wrestling audiences. Both his mix of terrific technical style and willingness to have a devil may care attitude makes him a fan favorite. He has a certain quiet appeal that of hardcore fan bases definitely approve of. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling's WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content you never want to miss, you gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never ever miss when we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.